Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and in the last episode, we finished up all the levels in the game, besides their 100 coin shines, except for Gelato Beach, my favorite level. So we are going to be going to Gelato Beach, or I don't know if I if it's my favorite level. Like I said, it's been an ongoing debate in my side myself since I, you know, said I liked Rico Harbor so much. So anyway, episode 8 is the Watermelon Festival, the, the mission that I know a lot of people were asking for and were surprised that they missed when I didn't actually play it yet. Uh... But anyway, the Watermelon Festival is kind of notorious as far as LPing wise, because I'm pretty sure Chugga Conroy had some problems with it, I think. Uh, I don't know if I watched that part of his LP. And I know that Nintendo Capri Sun did, and maybe Josh Jepsen too. I don't know. I haven't watched Josh Jepsen. That's the only thing I've ever watched from Josh Jepsen was like a few Super Mario Sunshine episodes. So I couldn't tell you about that. But anyway, um, the Watermelon Festival, Festival, man. Uh, is kind of unique in the sense that uh, there's no other mission in the game like it. Uh, you walk up here, and there's going to be a humongous watermelon. Uh, so big, in fact. And our destination for this watermelon is... Oh my god. All the way over there, over by those docks. Now, the catch is, while this is a really big watermelon and everything, it easily pops. It, um, yeah, it, it, it has a tendency to pop really easily. So, we don't want it to pop really easy, and the way that we don't get it to pop is by having Cataquacks not, f uh, you know, fling it up like they just did with that. So, don't let the Cataquacks fling it up, and you'll be fine. Um, and if you do, then you'll have problems. Uh, so that wasn't a really good example of, um you know, getting it down there, but it's really not that hard, and I've done it multiple times, and every single time that I've done it, I've really had no problems with it, so hopefully the trend will stay with my playing of this game, and really the Watermelon, watermelon Festival not giving me too many problems. Uh, the thing is, you just don't want to be, like, you don't want to be too rough with it, and you don't want to obviously hit it into any Cataquacks, and if you're going in an area full of Cataquacks, um then make sure that you hit them and make them unconscious first because if you don't they will flip it up and you know it will be troublesome and no one wants that so uh... really not all that hard though um... uh... thing to note is when you get over to the side there will be cataquacks uh... nearby so watch out for them and watch out for the other watermelons. You just don't want to hit it into anything, really. That's the that's the big deal. But I mean, there's a pretty much a straight shot. There's no cataquacks in sight, and it's just this little, you know, bridge thing. So just uh, make sure you push it kind of gently, and make sure that you keep it kind of straight, and you should be fine. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much this mission in a nutshell. Not really all that hard. Not as hard as people make it out to be, I don't think. Um, so yeah. Definitely not the hardest shine in the game by any means. Just gotta take it, take your time, you know. Don't really, you know, rush through all that much. But I mean, you can still push it, you know, a little fast. Whoa, now that's what big old watermelon like I've never seen. Oh, that's a big, I didn't even read that. So whatever. So, he didn't even have to bust out the caliper or whatever that was. And then he just grinds it all up. Uh, which, I mean, I would too, because I love watermelon. So, And then it's right up there, on top of these spinning blades of death. Don't know why they would put it all the way up there. I guess there was a shine in the middle, that was what's making it so big. And thankfully, Mario... Oh, shine! <laughs> God damn it. Gotta stop talking. Uh, thankfully, Mario did not get ground up himself. Because that would be a sure ton waste of, uh, you know, effort and time that I've put into this game just for him to get, you know, ground up in one of the final missions. So, so back to Gelato Beach, we are going to be going all the way to episode number one for the Dunebud Sandcastle secret. Um, so we can get the secret shine that's there, so that's pretty cool. So, 
Uh, I could cut, but this is literally like four seconds before I get there. So I'm not going to, you know, make myself edit out four seconds. Whereas the other ones, you know, it's kind of annoying. Or some of the other ones. See, I still got flung up, and I, you know, didn't even get... I didn't even see who flung me up. Alright, bad cataclysm. Get away from me. Get out of here. Ooh, my controller was vibrating, vibrating like crazy because of the cataclysm. So this is a pretty easy one because it's one of the first ones, which is convenient because I don't really want a challenge right now. <laughs> At this point, I'm like done. So, ground pound, and they should be like right all on the line, really. So, not really all that hard. So there's two, and because uh, it's not all that hard, they only give you like a minute, so. I mean, you probably could screw up like I just did, but it really won't be that hard. Alright, come on. There we go. Now it's just getting these final last uh, red coins and this mission will be done. Uh, jump. I mean, I think I might be have been taking my sweet old time a little too much. Uh, because, I don't know, this might be close now. Alright, where is the last one? Right over directly on the other side. Alright. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's all good. Yeah, so you can take as much time as you really want and you shouldn't have a problem. And there we go. Not hard. Sean! And this is probably going to be a really quick episode, uh, just because the next shine is also not a secret shine and really easy to find and locate, so, uh, yeah, not really all that bad. I love that theme. I found a two-hour extended version of that song with guitar, which I thought was pretty cool. <laughs> um... But anyway, I don't know if it really matters uh, exactly what the level is, so I'm just going to try the Watermelon Festival. So this one, basically what you have to do is right behind a uh, right behind the, the um, Shine Tower is a Dune Bud, and you spray it, and inside you spray the back wall of it, and there is a Shine that pops out, which is really easy and quick to do and kind of fun, so that's what we're gonna do uh, and we're gonna do it right and hopefully without any problems no mr. cataquack you may not throw me up in the air you either I think it's right here yeah it just like caves in and then you spray against this wall and oh yeah I got it just in the next time and it goes all the way up here for whatever reason but you know it's such an easy shine that, you know, they have you work a little bit for it, at least. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then Gelato Beach will be done, except for the 100 coin shine. So, just gotta go back through and get all of those, as well as the blue coins. And that basically does it, besides the, you know, secret shines and stuff. Shine! So yeah, it's definitely not going to be 30 episodes, uh, because I don't know, I, I've, ducked, I've ducked around, yeah, I've dicked around so much in this project. Uh, I probably, I mean, I could do it faster, but it doesn't really matter how fast you do it, to be honest. Or at least to me, it doesn't. This is how I normally play the game, all casual-like. But yeah, that does it for this episode. I know it was uh, shorter than some of the other ones, but that's just about does it. So I will see you guys in the next episode for whatever I do.